everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the art class today, which I'm very excited about. Hope you're excited too. And today I've got a fantastic guest, my old friend, Princess Julia, and she's looking very lovely because I've seen she's made a lovely tableau. She's got a lovely, nice outfit on, but it's quite a distance picture, but she's got a lovely face. So you can always stretch a screen out or something to get a face or do screenshots. And we're just going to have one pose today so that you can do your short pictures, your long pictures, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. I'm not going to boss you about or anything. So, but to be honest, I think you'll be too busy listening to us two yakking on and on and on with our old rubbish from the past. But anyway, oh, I can see Lo Wayne's on here, Gina Fountain, Kim, they're all on. But anyway, now I may introduce you to the lovely Princess Julia. Hello everyone. Hi, hi. Hi Sue. Hi everyone oh, watching. So Have you, you got your pens out. This is a lovely picture for you to draw, but as I said, you can stretch it out. Hi yes, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> and um oh hello from folks, and they're from all over the world. Yeah, is that's right. Paris, or is he in London? Hi, oh, fabulous. Locals and far away. Yes. So oh, I'm from Greece, Athens. Stella, hi. Hi. So, anyway. Jennifer, yeah, hi. Oh, hi, everyone's there. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. I know. Oh. Everyone's not seeing all the names popping in. up. Julian, and hello. Drawing. Hi, Julian. Oh, oh looking gorge girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll be just going like that. Ah, oh, from everyone local. But anyway, do, hi Karen, hi Trindy. Oh, no, I'm Hello. Hi. Hello. Right. Aww. So, let's have some conversation now, Julia. I don't like to be bringing sad subjects up, but I expect people want to know that your poor mum died two weeks ago on your sixtieth birthday. Oh, yes. How do you do that in these times of coronavirus? Well, mum wasn't very well for a while, I have to say. Um, she was in a care home, everyone. Um, she was very comfortable there, but they did seem rather confused, the uh, residents and the uh, nurses and doctors yeah. in the care home. It was all quite a lot going on. Um, it was incredibly sad, obviously. I am very philosophical about it. Um, I was actually going in and out of the care home, which was quite a, sort of uh, quite scary in a way. And they didn't have all the PPE that they should have, but I, hopefully those things have been sorted out now. But yeah, it was um, it was quite surreal, quite frankly, because not only was I missing my special day. Yeah. But on that day, I was actually saying goodbye to mum oh, in no. the care home. So it was kind of weird. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, if you'd been having a party, and that would have been even worse, wouldn't it? Oh, God, yeah, it would have been awful. Yeah. So, you know, oh. the cycle of life, the cycle of life, everyone. No. Well, I just spoke to my mum today, and she's going, yeah. I'm so old, I can't do anything. I went... Right. I've got an idea there, Mum. Run out the house, run around the shops and touch touch everyone, and then you die of the virus. And she oh went, my oh my God. Oh. <laughs> no, she laughed. She knows what I'm like. She laughed. Yeah. And she went, yeah. you know what, Sue? I can't be bothered. I'm too lazy. <laughs> I, I, I can sympathise with that. I'm quite lazy yeah. as well. I was just thinking. I'll give it from my mum. Yeah, I was thinking... Um, you know, because we're all in isolation and some of us are, can't actually go out. We've been told we can't properly go out. Yeah. Um, so. Um, yeah, I found out today. I'm not, I've got a letter from the NHS. I'm not meant to go out for 12 weeks. Oh, dear. I'm on the list. Vulnerable. You've got to take care of yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, where am I going with this? I was, I was thinking, yeah, that if you, if you, but do you, sometimes I feel like I might be getting a bit agoraphobic. 
Because it's so surreal in the outside world. I know. That you might sort of cocoon yourself in your in your walls. This is getting quite deep, really. Yeah, no, can we? Um, um, I did find myself not going out of the flat for about three days. But I sort of feel... Even if you just walk around the block, I think that's good. Yeah. Well, so I'm lucky that um, I can sit in the garden and I can see over the wall, so I can see people okay. walking up and down. And someone I know usually walks past. Oh, that's good. Past or someone. Oh, good, good, yeah. I've yeah. got that as well. I Obviously, I have a small Juliet balcony. Yeah. But people do walk past and wave at me. Ah. You need that little wave, it's That's so nice, pleasant, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. It makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. But Are people what? drawing now? I hope so. I they did. better be. I want to see them all. I'm really excited about seeing what everyone's going to do. We've got two chart pop singers playing, doing along with us. Oh, yeah. Corinne Drury from Swing Out Sister. Oh, my God, She's lovely. We're talking. She keeps sending me messages. She's okay. saying she's really sad about your mum. Oh. And then uh, Sarah J. Morris. Okay. Who you know, oh. some with Jimmy Summer. Hello. Sherry lives down the road. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I will be coming down to Hastings after this is all uh, over. Definitely. You're locking your birthday party. I'm going to be doing it next year now. I'm knocking a year off. And... Um, <laughs> I'm going to have yeah. six years next year after I've had my facelift. You're going to do that, really? Yeah. <laughs> Would you? Mind you, my face is getting, it's not wrinkly, it's just getting baggy. I just fancy it. Yeah, something to do, isn't it? Yeah. Who else we got? So Trindy's there. Trindy. Maria McElaine's there. She lives down the road as well. Lovely. John Corey, Leone. Do you know Pete Lafouche, his sister? Oh, Maggie, the oh, yes. whole time. So Sorry? we're going to have the same pose. But if you want to do quick, you can. Or do you if want you me want to do to different poses, everyone? No, keep the same one. Keep the same one because it's easier. Okay. Some people right. like to do a long one, but you can still do short ones. Anyway, you're a bit fidgety anyway. Who else have we got here? Louis Biggs from the lovely... Um, coffee shop up the road that's sadly closed which is a great loss to us all Andrew Gallimore just start drawing whenever you fancy you know just whenever you want just start drawing oh Emma Peake's on there so I imagine baby Reynard the top artist of the groups there as well Michelle Clapton you know her from the olden days yeah yeah she's the sorry queen. about her. The queen of everything. I know. Oh, Russell, he's local, he's made it. Hercules Fisherman. Right, what else can we talk about? What do you miss most then at the moment in time? Um, I'm actually quite enjoying it. <laughs> I, I, I don't mind, um, um, you know, because I do such a sort of variance of different uh, things. I enjoy writing, which is quite a lonely, isolated mm. sort of thing to do. I enjoy painting myself and drawing and things like that. Um, I enjoy scrolling quite a lot. I do a lot of that. <laughs> um, and I do miss, um, you know, DJing. Of course, I do miss doing that. Um, yeah. But I, I'm sort of staying positive by the idea that we are coming back to be de DJing in mm. our pubs and clubs, albeit at the moment it looks like it's not going to be till next year, which is yeah. um, quite a stretch, isn't it? Excuse me a minute. <coughs> you haven't got it, have you? No. <laughs> have I? <coughs> oh, no. Was it a No, I feel fine. I feel oh, fine, good. everyone. Don't worry. Yes. So, um, um, so, what am I missing? My, I, I'll tell you what I do miss. I miss going to the gym. I've got absolutely no self-discipline whatsoever. And I refuse to do 
any sort of exercise in public. I did have a moment in the um, in the eighties, in the late eighties, of jogging. Yeah. Don't know if you remember that, Sue. Yes, I do. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Is she going that? Show us. Alison, it's a pretend dog. That's why it's still. It's Chinese. <laughs> Do you like the dog? This is the dog. This is Josh's dog. Josh nice. What's his name? Josh, what's the dog called? Rover. <coughs> Dog's Rover. called Rover. Oh. Rover. It's his name. Someone just wants so, to see the shoes. I Can do just... miss going to the gym. Oh, okay. carry on. Just... Sorry. Someone wants to see your shoe. Oh, there we are. Thank you. Yeah. Lovely. But I do miss going to the gym. I like to go to a yoga class or a class of some sort where somebody bosses me around. Yeah. And I find that if I have to do exercise on my own, on my own, under my own devices, I will just easily get so distracted. So I like to be in that environment. And so I actually am taking the opportunity to not really do very much exercise at all. <laughs> got a cupboard full of gym stuff that I bought for the home. All of them, I've made me use them once and I can't, just can't be bothered. I just, I just find it really hard uh, to like focus on doing that. There's other things that I enjoy in my home that like exercise is not one of them. I know. To do, I, I need to be in a in a dedicated space. Exactly. There's somebody calling for you, Josh. There's somebody calling for you. Who's it, Marilyn? Where's Josh? No, come he, here. Come on, hello. Oh, hey. This is hello. the glamorous Josh. There's Josh. Hi, if you're everyone. local to Hastings, right. you might recognise him. <laughs> he's been Norman Road. <laughs> but sadly, he's moved back to London. To my house. <laughs> yeah. Someone says you look like Helena Bonham Carter. I love Helena Bonham Carter. Right. I'll take it. In fact, um, I was just saying the other day, I watched um, Elizabeth and Richard on iPlayer. Have you seen yeah. that? It's about no. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Um, yeah. The last months of uh, Richard Burton's life. And they did a play yeah. together. Um, it's really good. I absolutely adore Helena Bonham Carter. Did you play the Taylor? Yeah, so the, she's oh. playing Elizabeth Taylor. Because people have said to me, I look like Elizabeth Taylor. But I think really when she'd gone to Seeds, not when she was the No. <laughs> yeah, oh well. What? You know, she's got on, the, the, the shoe. Hollywood Babylon. When my nephew was about two, not the one who's watching, my big nephew, he went to his mum in the shop, his Auntie Susan. So that's how much I look like Elizabeth Taylor. David Sands, the comment on street, well, let's just carry on what you're doing. And then we might put them up. Okay. I'm just telling that to David Sands, who's written a note. Oh. Right, what else can we talk about? I've got one. I've got one, Sue. So, um, Sue and I, when did we meet, Sue? We met, We actually met in about 1981 or 82. Yeah. We lived in, in Kentish the Town. And um, Sue was, um, we heard about Sue. There were rumours flying around about Sue already that you worked in the job centre, but you were a <laughs> bit of a party animal. <laughs> and there were parties in your shared household in Kentish Town. There were. Yeah, and we hot-footed it over there to go to a party there, and we heard that you liked sniffing poppers. <laughs> that really built us up in your reputation. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> if someone gave me poppers, now I'd give them a million pounds to take them away. <laughs> I loathe them now. Isn't that funny? They used to love them so much. Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, Stephen Luscombe out of Le Monde who gave me my first ever sniff of poppers. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, if someone gets them near me now, 
But I remember you used to sniff them through your skirt. She didn't want to oh get. Oh my a skirt. god! I, I used to love them. I know um, we all did, didn't we? Yeah, we did love them. Anyway, so from that moment, I feel a bond was bonded at yeah. that very moment. Really. Do, um, <gasps> Do we remember we... the day of the Embassy Club in eighty-one to eighty-three? No. The Embassy Club. <laughs> We used to go That's to the embassy club in the uh, 70s, in the late 70s, yeah. on a Sunday. Um, that's I only went, went there a going there. It was a Sunday it's night. Sorry? No, you carry on. Oh, um, yeah, the embassy club, I feel, I don't really remember going to the embassy in the 80s very much. Did I? Did we? Do you remember too? Wasn't the first kinky kinky at the embassy? No, it was at the um it was at the at Legends. Oh, I get them all confused. In Burlington Street. Oh, oh that's right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, Elaine Chalmers is watching. Hi Elaine. Oh Elaine, hi. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I remember sort of around the time of the Blitz. 78, 79, we used to go to the Embassy Club on a Sunday because it was, um, I think they had drink as you much as much as you can and there was a free cocktail of some sort, you know. Yeah. I think it was like, you know, a pound to get in or something and then it was like cocktails all the way and a sandwich. But the cocktails were really got there early really enough, nice I think you could get a sandwich. Oh. Probably a ham oh, sandwich. Okay. Hmm? I've just been told I've got a secret message from someone in the world of pop stars to say that Billy Bragg's piano player is doing the class, so I'm not allowed to say his name. Oh. There you go. Oh, hi. Get a little band together and do a little something after. Yeah. Oh, Maggie wants you to draw your boots. Have you got a little stool or something you could put your leg on to save it hurting? No. <laughs> no, no, Maggie, just take a screenshot and do them later. There you go. Oh, yeah, got a stall, got a stall. Yeah, yeah, how's that, Maggie? What say about drawing to other people if that's too awkward for you, just draw it's what you've done before. Because you know that I will say that everyone can draw. So just do what you feel like doing. And if you haven't got the right materials, don't worry. Because last week, someone did a bit of the colouring in with tomato ketchup. Other people have used lipstick. Yeah. So use whatever you got. Because you have to make do in these times now. Yeah. But if you do want to get some colours and crayons and that, you can order them from Amazon. And I was like oil pastels because you can get really bright colours with them. That's a bit of my artistic advice. <laughs> But you'd like to explain the pictures behind you that you drew. All right. So, okay. So, uh, during this lockdown, I've been um, endeavouring to do some of my own artwork. And just before lockdown, because I knew it was coming, obviously, we knew it was coming. So, I invested in some new pastels <gasps> that I got strangely addicted to. So, I'm trying to sort of do a few uh, artworks a week. Yeah. And I'm really inspired by, you know, I do really love the clubs and I love working in the clubs and I love going out to them. And there are some really some very inspiring people. So these three up here, they're, they're, um, they're uh, well, these two, these two um, yeah. are portraits of Captain um, here with the frogs. And Captain goes to Inferno, a club called oh. Inferno, which is a, it's Lewis G. Burton's um, club, which yeah. is a it's a, it's quite a rave, quite a, a gay raver, quite frankly. Okay. So it's really good fun, but people really work and look look there. They yeah. really do. And then this is the fabulous Slid, who is actually at, at um, studying fashion, which and my heart goes out to all the fashion students at the moment yes. struggling on. Anyway, they're very talented. And they sell um, um, articles at um, Nazir, at Nazir's um, shop called Fantastic Twiles. You can find that on Instagram. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then these two pictures are by, I don't know if you can see them, actually. Can you see them? They're kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah they're nice. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like fashion illustrations. They're by like a, a friend of mine called Josh Klein. Oh, they're um, lovely. Yeah. And then this, this is one of my favourites. It's a little sculpture. Can you see? <laughs> it's by Richard, Richard Porter, <laughs> yeah. who also self publishes. Um, a series of uh, um, uh, uh, tomes, should we say, oh, um, yeah. and they're the anthology series. And actually, in the latest one, the anthology of wilderness, I have two works in in that. Oops! Oh no, I lost the candle. Sorry, oh, everyone. I'm probably moving around too much. Oh no, really being annoying. Yeah. <laughs> um, Someone offered to buy one of your pictures. Oh really? Yeah, you can buy one. Yeah, you'd be I've got lots of them. Yeah, will you get in touch with Phoebe Jane and you might be able to sell Oh, one. yes. So hi, Phoebe. Phoebe's very supportive. Oh, do you I know her? Say. I've, I've spoken to her on, online. Okay. Um, so, um, so I've been working away on doing those um, pastel studies. Yeah. Um, um, and the one at the end, that's a kind of self-portrait type thing. Yeah. Um, um, and, and sort of like, obviously when I started, I was thinking about sort of isolation and what that sort of meant to me and, um, you know, what, what, how it made me feel. Yeah. And did it make me feel trapped and things like that. Working it out, That's you know, like you work things out, you know, you work yeah. out the, the things, the things that you, affect you in your immediate life and... Oh, no. How you can utilise those things and oh. carry on in a positive fashion. It's true. Now, I'm very interested in your headdress. Oh, now, do you how, like it? How much of it is hair and how much is headdress and what? It's what? a total hat and yeah. it's made by Nazir Mazhar, again, who yeah. has the shop Fantastic Twirls. And it's actually an Easter bonnet he made for me last year. So I've, I've actually worn it a few times before. The feathers are to it. He's he's made it. He's made it. I think it's made out of a cap, and then he's added yeah. feathers and bits of. It's so fantastic, isn't it? I love it. Gorgeous. It on and you're ready to go. I know. Love. Don't have to brush your hair or anything. Not not really. But I did wash my hair today. Oh, oh I, I was... forgot to say about these these planters. I bought oh, yeah. from Fred Mann's gallery. Yeah. Look at them. And this one's actually for Jerry. Jerry, this one's for you. You just haven't picked it up yet. It says, uh -huh. take it, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jerry, are you there? Respond. <laughs> they're probably too anyway. engrossed with their drawings. Eh? Oh, yeah, that's you true. Jerry Stafford, yeah. <laughs> I'll make... What's it it's say? Made out of cat. <laughs> That's for you. I'm just keeping it here until you're ready to take it to your home. Oh, that day will come. Oh, I'll just have it here forevermore. Oh, look, I've heard something a blast from the past. An actual freaking frack light. Well, guess what? David Cabaret has just pointed that out and said, love the lamp, looks like freaking frack. It is. How fantastic. Yes, David, cabaret. I've got an actual freaking frack light there. Okay. It was actually at John Mabry's house. I think John gave it to me. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Or was it at Alan's house and Alan gave it? No, I think John had it. It was yeah. a gift anyway. Oh, people are thinking that you said your hat was made out of a cat. But you oh. said it's out of a cap. <laughs> a cap. I wonder it's made out of a cap, and it's um, it's just been re reworked with yeah. added feathers and things. And Jason, no, it's not made out of a cat. Do you know Jason Malloy, who was friends with Adam? Yes. he lives here. I know. I know. We all live here. I we know. All... Yeah. What else now? Um, what else? Have we got any questions? 
Yeah, anyone got any questions for Julia? Send them to me and I'll pass them on. I'll say them out loud. In stories about her life, our wonderful days in the band, the curse. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. So another one of your Hastings St. Leonard's residents is the wonderful Lawrence Malice and Sue and I. Yeah. We and every now and again, um, Lawrence would do a fantastic night. That one in the sauna was yeah. one of them. And we quite often would do an act of some sort. I don't know what came over us, Sue. Because there was no coming up. I think initially we were in Fat Tony's we um, were on a dog show. The Diana Dog Show. And then we sort of like ended up every now and again, we'd do like a little sort of cabaret turn. So we yeah. did like Strawberry Switchblade, which is a yeah. photo, one of the photos you posted yesterday, Sue. So. Yeah. And we did. And we did perform in the Michael Clark film, How the New Puritans. Oh, yes, that's true, yes. Yeah. Oh, we've done quite a lot of extra work in our time, haven't we? How's your. <laughs> How's your extra career coming on, so mm, Not doing so much extra work now. Okay, yeah. Well, not at the moment, but no, no. Well, we still get asked to do things, don't we? Oh, we are still getting all the time now. Yeah, we still get. What my last one was being. Um, well, I just sort of say that I'm an overmade up woman in everything that I do. So I was an overmade-up woman at oh, was that a dinner nice? party, and that was for the Jonas Brothers <laughs> video. <laughs> oh, I remember that, the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, you did that. Yeah. No, was like, that was quite recently. Well, David Sands remembers you when you worked in PX. And Fantastic. Well, yeah. Jonas PX lives in St Leonard's. <laughs> Jerry was <laughs> the buns. Do you remember oh, yeah. the night? Oh, thanks, yeah. We were really drunk. And then we went, we kept swapping between my house and Julie's house because only around the corner. So we back and forth. I don't know why. Then when we back to her house, outside the shop, there were a load of buns, weren't they? And what did you do, Julia? Well, I'm so ashamed. We we were more than drunk. I have to say, we were. Yeah. Well, I was I was tripping. I was on acid. <laughs> oh. And I was so ashamed to say that I saw a tasty roll, a tasty bun, and decided <laughs> to take those said buns home with me. And my idea was that I was going to share them out with everyone. Yeah. But we were had been up all night. And we were a little bit worse for wear. And some a, a policeman who wasn't on duty, but was on their way to being on duty, saw, saw me doing, you know, pilfering the bums. So um, somehow located us. And oh, that's it. No, Sue, so, we were going. We were going to your house. Yeah, and then the policeman you went... was by then in the uniform and stopped us in the street and said, what were you doing like 10 minutes ago? And I was like, well, nothing. Well, I was just, like, doing nothing. I was at home. And then they went, well, I, we, I saw you stealing said buns, rolls. And I went, oh, yeah. Because I was just like, oh, whatever. And then arrested me on the spot so I was carted off to like Mornington Crescent police station where <laughs> I was tripping off my trolley I was told to write a report and uh then they you know they did um unconvicted uh, they did the fingerprints and everything I'm not proud of it because obviously you know it was a little corner shop selling buns that I shouldn't have done that and then I had to go back to the flat, get the evidence, <laughs> back to my flat, get the evidence and go back to the police station with them. They put me in a cell and then about 10, 11 o'clock the next day, I had, or 10 o'clock something, I was actually in court. Did you and get I completely guilty and I was bound over to keep the peace for six months. But the thing was, I kept seeing the policeman all the time in the street. 
was a bit sort of like, well, you know. So, but I wasn't, I've never been naughty again. Oh, Summer, what was it like doing the fade to grey video? Oh, well, um, it's, a, it's a sort of time honoured story, really. But um, so the fade to grey video, um, it did feel um, quite ahead of its time. They had Richard Shara doing the makeup, fabulous Richard Shara. And it was made by those two guys uh, out of 10cc. Oh, well, and, whatever. Yeah, bubbly and cream. And um, um, it felt very modern, I must say. I, I felt like we were in the future because yeah. the way they were using a lot of modern technology, if you can imagine. Oh, yeah. The, the technology we have now is so super modern. I mean, you can actually make a video off your phone. There's lots of people okay. doing it. Lady like Gaga one. I love that video. That's yeah. done off her phone. So, but this was the technology. It was more or less the same probably a bit low more more low tech actually but it was in um they had it all in a they had a, like a green screen and everything and it was all in a in a in a in a, a winnebago actually yeah. and they were like filming it directly and then editing edit more or less editing it together as they went yeah. and i remember going into the uh, into the tech department and watching them sort of piece everything together. And it did feel really quite sort of miraculous, actually. And I was thrilled to be asked to be in it, actually. Although, as everyone knows, I didn't, I, I can't speak French at all, really. And I had to mime the parts. Um, we like to think yeah. you. But I absolutely adored being part of all that. It was, it was brilliant. It really was quite amazing, actually. And I was absolutely thrilled. And I did go, um, with Steve Strange to a few uh, different countries to do PAs. Okay. Yeah, every now and again I do one, but not very often. I oh, think I, 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 well, yeah. That um, video we did with Bailey Walsh for Generations of Love, when we had to play hostage in the streets of Soho. Loved it. Was it. He was filming it out the window, so no one knew we were being filmed. There was Julia, me, Rachel Auburn, um, Lee Bowery, all mm. trading down the street looking like the biggest tarts ever. And the thing is, I got a couple of propositions because people thought we were real. And I was wearing <laughs> my tattoos and bare legs and a oh, it's so fantastic. jacket. So and Lee, know, Lee. He put too Lee. much grease on your face, didn't he? Yeah, Lee, Lee was in charge of the wardrobe department and decided to slather my face in like Vaseline because I had to look a bit greasy. And um, like, you know, we looked authentic. Exactly, you as you said, we looked very authentic. And it was a fantastic video, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I loved doing that, but we couldn't get permission to actually film in the street. So um, we had to sort of be running away from the police and things like that. So we'd run into sort of doorways and, and quickly Bailey would film, you know, um, the, the desired uh, parts. Mm -hmm. And um, then we move on to the next scene. But it was really, I mean, when you look at that video, you can see it on YouTube now. And it's actually yeah, such it's a really great, cool. yeah, it's such a great um, uh, piece of work, you know, of so that time. Huh? And the song's so great as well. Oh, I love it, yeah. I showed it the other week here when I had to show my favourite um, TV clips and pop and all that at the yeah. oh. Went down the school. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic, that video. But then, um, because it was quite, um, it was quite a risque video as well. So it was. Um, there had to be another version. Do you remember, so? Yeah. There was the one point. where we all wore the white Rifa Osbeck um, collection. Yeah. Karen Dunn, you, you can draw the lady and listen, you can choose. It's up to you. So you're meant to draw the lady with the red trousers. But you can just listen if you like. It's up to you. Yeah. You don't have, yeah. <laughs> but it is really a drawing class, but we've sort of changed it into drawing and chit chat. Um, well, and I remember we went to the WAG after and they took us in the stretch limo and all the bouncers were through. They thought we were right fancy. <laughs> limo. Are they still a thing? Because they used to be very glamorous, didn't they? I think you can hire a stretch limo and have a party in it. There's like party stretch limos. Oh. 
and you just drive around in the limo. Oh, we've got over 100 people logged in now. Fabulous. I know. Oh, Elvirus, Mackie Carmen wants to know yeah. what's the best concert you ever went to? What's the what? Best concert you ever went to. Oh, um, hi, hi. Um, best concert that I've ever been to. Um, or well, well, I've been so many. I actually went quite recently, actually, with Jerry Stafford. We went to see um, Sinead O'Connor <gasps> at the Shepherd's Bush nice. Empire. I'm not saying that's the best concert, but Sinead's voice was beyond. Yeah. And she looked beyond, actually. It was really a fantastic concert, very emotional. So I tend yeah. to go to those sort of things. But I really enjoyed um, Cher. That was fantastic. Yeah. And let me just add here, I am like a super fan of the Pet Shop Boys, <laughs> as you know. And yeah, so honestly, am I. I never tire of a Pet Shop Boys concert. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> I love them. And that latest LP is fantastic. Oh, was it brilliant? I remember we went to see them not so long ago at the Royal Opera House, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant show. Brilliant show. Always love it. Oh, and Jerry. Shirley Bassey. Well, I went, I went to see Shirley Bassey, actually, with my sister. So I've seen Shirley do a concert, and it was quite beyond actually but um in more recent times i actually got to meet shirley bassey oh my god <laughs> with jerry stafford oh you he, would be he, go, he, he goes to all the if jerry, no, jerry know, knows yeah. where to go and we went to a party and shirley bassey was actually there and um it was really fantastic and she was very very sweet lovely lady really she's sassy. quite small huh she quite short. Um, no, 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 not really. It's probably oh. maybe the same height as me, but I'm quite short, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What was your most stylish person you've ever met? Oh, Obviously, me. well, I mean, there's so many, there's so many stylish people. Depends what your, what your idea of being stylish is, isn't it? Really. I think styles like are quite a personal, personal thing. But um, there's lots of people I really admire the style of, um, yeah. and uh, their continuing um, love of dressing. So yeah. I mean, I, I would say someone like you know Amanda Lepore um, always looks really astounding. Um, yeah. And then uh, and then um, people closer to home. Um, let me have a think. Oh, do you know what? I really, honestly, every time I see Louise Gray, she looks brilliant. I hope she's yeah. watching today. And um, there's yeah. designer Louise Gray. She's always got brilliant uh, personal style. I love the way she slings her, puts herself together. And yeah. then, uh, oh, there's so many people. I do like all the drag queens on our scene and the way that they yeah. um, translate their performance. And, um, you know, I do a Sunday at the Glory, um, yeah. not at the moment. And um, I usually have a guest on. And I'll tell you who's fabulous. Your local, Adam Frost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Adam Frost really got some great He's looks going on. All that <laughs> but um, I, like the, I like people that sort of like, you know, let's let's face facts. I mean, we 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 were we, you especially as very good friends with Lee Bowery, and the looks that Lee would sort of conjure up were really quite astounding and very arresting. And um, the he made well, me for work. The job center. Huh? And the dresses he made me to wear to work in the job they were, center. They were just fabulous. They were so oh. fabulous, Sue. I know. Oh, um, someone. Has done a manicure on Shirley Bassey twenty years ago. Oh my God! And Shirley ba Debbie's reminded me Shirley Bassey's bedroom, her bed, and all her wardrobes and that were at French Depot up the road. Oh really? Looking at them, yeah. Now someone else wants to know what's the best club you ever went to and why. Oh, okay. Well, these the best of. You know, it's so hard to define the best of. Like you probably have the same problem I do, so. 
and other yeah. people watching probably do is that we've been to so many um, every decade you know does throw up something sort of um quite astounding um so i've had fantastic nights that sort of you know all ongoing it's all ongoing isn't it um now so yeah. let me think what could be one of the um, kinky galinky that was a great night yeah. Well, I know uh, it's a DJ at that as well, and it was brilliant. That was in the 90s, really, I'd say. Um, Daisy Chain, that was Twins yeah. Night. Jimmy there, Fox, so we loved that one. It was um, like a club. You could meet boys there, because it was like a lot of nice straight boys up the Wag Club. Oh, yeah, we loved it at the Wag Club. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah. So, no. We did the doors. We did well, the doors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I met lots of people want to know who we met. I remember my best one there was Chucka Khan came in. Um, oh, really? Oh, hi, Pete May. Hi, Pete May. Run DMC. Oh, my Have we ever been starstruck? Not Salt really. and Pepper. Yeah. And their yeah. um, backing dancers. Yes. We might go into <laughs> that story right now. Um, <laughs> what was, I was, I've forgotten what I was saying then. Have you ever been starstruck? um well actually now you're staying um because we both did the cashier job at, at, at the white club yeah. and actually i was kind of playing it cool but when mick jagger and david bowie came in oh and then they God. asked me where, where, they, where they came in they went in for a while and then they came out and then they said oh where's where's they good to go and i said oh well, there's a club that i'm going to go to after after this one when i finished working yeah. and they were trying to it was i think it was white trash Oh, yeah. And they were trying to make me come with them in their limo. Yeah. Right there oh, and then. Oh, I, I was still working, that. so I couldn't go with them. So that was the sort of brush oh, yeah. with them. Um, yeah. Superstardom. I wasn't even... I wasn't even overexcited when I met Mick Jacker. He went... Because he came, he came up to me and he went, Did he? I know who you are. Oh, really? I really? Funnily enough, I know who you are too. <laughs> Got, he's got a picture of me in his house, apparently. Oh, has he? But, so when he was doing that concert last night, oh I'll yeah, tell you, I was looking to see if I could see it, but he didn't have it showing. Perhaps Jerry took it when she left. Who oh. knows? Oh. Yeah. Oh. What other questions have we got here? Oh, Jerry Stafford news. What we were talking about with Salt and Pepper. Oh, do you remember Sacrosanct on Shaftesbury Avenue? Yeah. Yeah, I do, but I can't remember. I didn't last. Was that time, at Planets? No. no. They'll blur into a bit of a oneness, really. Was that at um where was Sacrosanct? Chasby Avenue. Was it at Was it what era? Era. There was a funny club, but my Shaftesbury's or something, wasn't there? Oh okay, I know, I know, yeah. yeah. Yes, that was good. Who was the most disappointing star you ever met? <laughs> so <laughs> no they want you to say oh okay um i'm not i'm not disappointed no i'm not disappointed. i don't really do you know what everyone we know is a star in their own in their exactly. own right to be fair so they might not be famous in the obvious sense of the word but they're they truly do inspirational things. Exactly. They Everyone... might not be, you know, yeah. in the mainstream press or anything. So, you know, some of the but most they... famous people I know are my friends, quite frankly. And I, I always think, you know, I am a fan of my friends. Yes. I'm a fan of you, Sue. I love what you do. And I love what you're you always do. busy. You've always got a great attitude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah like, don't get upset about it. Just... Drift along in life, taking what comes. I'm not very good at name dropping. Really, um, I'm not very not that good at name dropping. Oh, really. or am I? Oh, maybe I am. Oh, it's Josh telling you you are. No, but it's not. Nice. I'm just thinking maybe I am. My favourite ever name dropping was Fat Tony. He rang me up <laughs> and he went, "Oh, sorry, I was just on the phone to Naomi. Oh, she's ah. such a name dropper. How much did I laugh?" <sighs> That so isn't good. Naomi Campbell though, so fantastic. I love her. On that, that programme, um, that fashion show on Amazon Prime. 
I've not seen it. Well, she's it. a judge. I can't oh, God, I have it. seen it, yes. Making the cut. Oh, she's fantastic. She is fantastic. Okay. She goes, mm. But uh, she's kind as well. When she likes or something, she's really lovely to the people. Yeah, I think she's fantastic. When I saw her out once, she wasn't as tall as I thought she'd be. That's quite often the way, isn't it? Because people have an aura of being tall, aren't they? But she wasn't as gigantic as I thought. Oh, oh, oh but they're they're um, they're in it. They're 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 the way they're presented in the yeah. media is is you become very expectant, don't you, of what they're going to be like. So I remember when um, the first time I saw Grace Jones in real life, she was. I was expecting. A oh, no. six, six tall. I mean, she is really one of the world's most fantastic people ever. But she's not, she, you know, she wasn't, she's a little tiny, she's quite very sort of petite, I felt, actually. So it's oh, almost oh, fragile looking, sort of quite demure. I know. Yeah. You always imagine people to be bigger than they are. I think so. I think it's just the way, maybe you're in your own imagination you build yeah. things up so you yeah. have that expectancy when people are really tall and you don't imagine that they're tall that's always fascinating yeah that oh. is fascinating <laughs> yeah because someone yesterday said can ordinary people do your art class and i said don't be ridiculous every you know no one's ordinary everyone's special everyone can do everything yeah it's true, isn't it? Yeah, there's no that everyone's exceptional in their own way. I yeah, don't mean you have that idea. Things about us. Well, or, or everyone's ordinary. So I'm an yeah. ordinary person. In you know, I'm quite mundane. I'm, I'm You're very mundane. I like watching Coronation Street, <laughs> <laughs> and I like a soap. Uh, 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 what's it? A kitchen sink drama. Very oh, yeah, that. there's not enough of them I like anymore. Huh? There's not so many of them as I think. Yeah, you know, I miss my favorite program to do this Doctors. That's my program. I love <laughs> exactly. and I love it. reality competition like MasterChef and that. I love those, yeah. But I think I've gone off X Factor and all them because the people are so dreadful. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the cookery program and I'm always One watching them. Oh. Um, one of my favourite conversations is the thread count of sheets. I can spend hours. <laughs> yeah. I've decided I don't like a thousand. They're too heavy. Six hundred is what I'm going with. That's I've, my favourite. I've got a question. I've got a question. So um, um, I've just done a questionnaire for um, Sadie Coles at HQ, HQ Gallery. Yeah. And, um, and actually, it's quite true. And... Um, so I'm going to ask you a question, Sue. But um, um, most artists are great foodies. So, yeah. what is your favourite dish to cook? I haven't made it for ages, but I'm very. This is, if I was think, if I was about to die, you know, like capital punch, I was being hung or something. My last meal. Yeah. I do delicious swordfish, all sort of oily and with lemon on it. Like yeah. chips, like you get down the road at Goat's Ledge chips and avocado and tomato salsa. I've got it all planned. And then <laughs> afterwards, the biggest bowl of Hagen Dars ice cream you can imagine in your whole life. A scoop of every single flavour. Wow. How many but, flavours are there? Oh, loads. But yeah. I've had a tub of Hagen Dars in the fridge since Christmas. And because I'm trying to give up sugar, I haven't touched it. I feel oh, very I proud of myself. Would you so would you consider making your own ice cream though? I've tried, it turned out rubbish. All right, because never, I've seen oh, that lots of people are baking bread at the moment. Yeah, but but, but when you bake bread, it's never as nice as the best bread you can buy. Okay. I love that. Oh, Jerry Stafford's got a joke. Corona Station Nation Street. Corona Nations. Oh, have you got a recent crush? Oh. Um uh trying to think have i got a recent I've got harry styles oh i see what a lot of person that you're and fan I'm quite, girling over. in that program face the cut i'm very taken with the girl um esther okay. I, don't know I like her who else 
have I taken to lately? Oh, um, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. I quite like him. Oh. <laughs> I know he's conservative, but something about I think it's because he's so rich. Yeah. But that's it, really. Yes, I, I have got a crush. Crush. Too much bother. I can't be bothered. I'm glad yeah. those days are over. I mean, obviously, there's people um, we admire or we think oh, that they're very um, engaging, charismatic. Yeah. Um, I can't say I'm obsessing with anything. I sort of get crushes on on tracks, on music, actually, weirdly yeah. enough. Sort of I go into sort of a mode and then just sort of play the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, I, swear, I really do like what um, Roisin Murphy does. I'm, I love her music. It's brilliant. Yeah. We quite often have that on all the time. And then more, in more recent times, I've gone, I've, I've, I've gone into the Joni Mitchell in lockdown. Oh. I've gone into Joni Mitchell. Do I had to listen to the other day, right the way through, the album um, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Every oh. song. Yeah. Oh, it's the first proper album I bought. And so it's mm. all I listen to for years. So I, you know, for weeks, I mean. So mm. I knew every track up really well. Oh, someone mm. here, Jason Malloy, what do you do with our sketches? We can send them to Isolation Station. Or if you can't do that, you can just message them to me, Jason, and I'll sort them out. Just. Facebook messaged them. <gasps> Sarah Harris is overexcited drawing Princess Julia in her lounge. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, I'm to be here. Oh, Despo Hawkins is the same with me. She's one of my regulars at my art group. Okay. She likes um, Rishak Sunak too. Now, what are you going to call your autobiography? Can I just tell you mine? Yes. Because I've got my head ready. Quentin Crisp stole the title of my biography. Because remember, he wrote The Naked Civil Servant. Right. So I can't, so really... Oh, I'm a, I see. Yeah, I'm that's a, good, that's good. So that's what I'm going to call it. Quentin Crisp stole my, stole my autobiograph autobiography title. Can't even speak. So what are you going to call yours? I, I did, actually, I did start writing something a while ago. And one of the working titles... I've sort of embarked upon them. One of the working titles was A dot Muse. Very good. A muse. Very good. <laughs> that was good. That was it. Well, uh, there's something going on at the moment about me that I can't really talk about, so I'm still not sure if it will be going on. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the title of that is 831. Oh. Which is... Eight letters, three words, one meaning. Oh, lovely. Love yeah. Oh, yeah. I could, someone thinks we should be on Gogglebox. Yeah, we so, should. Who's this? Some here who came to the cock. Gorgeous guys, gritty, punky and sexy. So that was Wayne's club, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the club um, in the noughties at the ghetto. Um, yeah. that, um, uh, I used to DJ at and uh, Tasty Tim. The fabulous Tasty Tim, who yeah. Tasty now DJs at Bombshell with Lady Lloyd. And some, everyone, the so good. Huh? And sometimes at Wayne's Pub, the Fountain in Hastings. That's right. Yeah, still going strong. I'm getting pictures sent through to me, but I'm not going to look at them yet. I'm going to save them to the end. Oh, I can't wait to see them. I know that you'll be thrilled. They're marvelous. Oh, good. Oh, good. I can't oh. wait. I know. Um, what was I going to say? So, what, what, what was the thing? The, the cock. cock. Oh yeah, the cock. Um, oh, oh, oh! Someone just reminded me of my true crush. That I forgot that I love him so much. Yeah. David Pitts Creek, Dan Levy. Do anyway, you know carry on. I don't know who oh. that is. <laughs> Have you ever seen Pitts Creek? From where? Shit's Creek, you ever seen it? Oh, no, I started watching that sort of a, a, like ages ago, I think, when it first came out, and then, then I never really... Oh, and then it's, now, it's, though, it's, it's in more recent times, people are, are like, engaging with it, but I, I've sort fantastic. of never got, got round to it, really. Oh, I think I'm in love with him. If oh, look at this. Just... This is fabulous. Oh, lovely. Oh, my God. Love it. it Amy Cabrera, gorgeous. She always does a nice picture. That's fabulous. Oh, that's brilliant. 
How many people you got watching? Oh, 106 now. It's going up. Word spreading on the street. So everyone's doing it. How long does the class last? I've only got a few more minutes, everyone. After that, but finish it at four. Oh, what track? Maggie asked this. What track always lifts the mood when you are DJing? Well, you know what? Uh, my my heart is in disco, and I always go back to anything really disco-ish. Um, yeah. But I, you know what? I mean, I mean, it's kind of cheesy, but I still love playing. I feel love. And oh, yeah. um, a little while ago, um, I DJed at a DR party for a magazine yeah. curated by, and it was that the that particular issue was curated by King Jones. So oh, King, was the, you, do you remember you're in you're in that edition? Oh, okay. a beautiful um, um, uh, um, work of art in there with you, isn't there? In that yeah. uh, magazine curated by and. Um, and so is there DJing? And then who should come into the room? Who should come in? Giorgio Moroder. I was so excited. I was so excited. And I saw Josh and Jeffrey Hinton. Uh, they were at the bar. And I ran from behind the DJ booth to get them over to meet Giorgio Moroder. Because he really brought Giorgio to me. And I was like, Giorgio Moroder, Giorgio Moroder, quick, quick. <laughs> Can I meet Giorgio Moroder? <laughs> and then so, and and then so I did. I actually did play "I Feel Love" as well. And I couldn't Excuse me, but it was so day, good. Eh? The other day at the Fountain when Neil Tennant was there <gasps> and Chris from Pet Shop Boys, that was you good. Played. <laughs> Always on my mind. I know. And Neil sang along, didn't he? He was dancing and singing along. I know. I love Neil. He always does that. Well, he's, he's such a good sport. He's, he's such a good sport, isn't he, Neil? He's got all the stories. Yeah. Wayne's got sent me some nice pictures he's done. Oh, lovely. I didn't know. Right. Yeah. Well, everyone can draw. It's like everyone cool. can sing. As I said last week and every week, children oh, can draw before that they is can write. Fabulous. Oh, lovely. Pauline Gibbs, Pauline. Oh, Pauline, that's Pauline. really Beautiful. brilliant. Wow. Because at the end, we'll have a big gallery so you can see everyone. Oh, my God. Repost, repost. Yes, yeah, so I've got coming to me, so I'll have to send them on to Hastings Isolation Station. Oh, no, isolation look at that one. Station. Jennifer, oh, Jennifer, thank you. <gasps> I think last week she did an embroidery of yeah, her picture. Yeah, she, she does. Did. She embroiders the, yeah. the, the paper. Oh, that'd be so beyond. Jennifer sometimes works with Show Studio. Oh, um, I don't. See, well, you know her. I don't know her, you see. Yeah, she, she does. Um, you know when there's like a fashion show? She does like oh, a yeah. live. They have an in-house artist illustration. Yeah. And they, and, um, they, they actually draw the shows as, as the shows are happening. In the in yeah. show studios, it's very very good, very good. No. Do we have to finish oh. right away? Oh, that's lovely. Who's Love that it. <laughs> Daniel Thanks, Daniel. Right very nice. Oh. Um, I look very Katie, stately in that one. Do we have to finish one? right now? Is there something following on? Yeah, no, yes. there's nothing following on. You can go for a bit longer if you'd like to. Oh, I'll try on. and get some of the pictures up, yeah? Some more of the photos. Okay, should we go for another 15 minutes? Is that all right? We're going to go for another 15 minutes, if that's all really? right, everyone. You don't have to stay. You can come, you can go. Drop in, drop out. Do you want to like do a quick 15 minute? Oh, they are. What a different... Look at my dog. Oh, 15 minutes. You're very lucky today. What? Andrew Powell. My hairdresser's watching. Lovely. And Robert Sale, you're at work, you can't draw, but you can catch up later if you go onto the website. The whole video will be there. You can join in. See now, I've, oh, post a picture, Sarah. Either send it to Isolation Station Hastings, or if you're my friends on Facebook, you can send it, private message it to me on Facebook Messenger. 
I can remind you as well, tomorrow it's my quiz. That's at eight o'clock. And tomorrow, Julia, you should do it. It's based on the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> it's an 80s quiz. Eight questions on each round. Eight rounds of eight okay. questions based on the 80s. So Fantastic. that's everything. I probably won't know the answers, though. I know. Sometimes I don't know them. But a lot of them you don't really need. You have to work them out. Yeah. So it's quite good fun. That's where all my so I've got a question for you. Um, yeah. And it's a question that's quite often asked to me. Um, uh, and we've, we've lived through like the 80s, the 90s, the noughties. What was, yeah. the, what was the, the noughties after the noughties? The, we've lived through all the these decades. The, the teenies. The teenies and now we're in the roaring 20s. Um, yeah. Um, which which was your favourite decade and why? Oh, the eighties, <laughs> because that was at my heyday when I was like in my early twenties. I was mm. out all the time, meeting new mm. people, having fun. But to be honest, mm. I don't think I did much in the nineties. That was kind of a bit of a quiet era. I oh, really. But to be honest, I like everything. I like it now, yeah. really. Yeah, well, yeah. Because yeah. what I like is going out here because it starts early and finishes early, so you don't stay up all night. Although I've done it a couple <laughs> of times, I've been there. Yeah. And then when you go out here, you know everyone as well because it's only a Oh, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's that a lovely is beyond. Simone, thank you Simone. so much. That's brilliant. Jerry's had to go. That's oh, really said. What does it say on your top? Oh, yeah. This top's from um, a friend of mine called Ashley Williams, who um, it says 100% disconnected piece. Marvellous. <laughs> so, um, um, as you probably know, a lot of, lot of people are um, I'm a great fan of clothes. Um, although, yeah. today, I have dug into my archive somewhat but this is um, this um, this little dress actually um, from Ashley. It's like a little um, sort of sports vest, really yeah. dress thing, and it's got skull and crossbones on. So, like last year, I bought some of her um, spring summer collection, and it's it's only just arrived. So I've got a few new pieces. Brilliant. But um, I've got this this netty skirt that I've had for years, but. I, the elastic had gone in the waist, so I thought, oh, I'm, I love that skirt. I'm going to wear that again. And I've got some yes. Margiela, um sort of sweatpants on that I bought in TK yes. Maxx, actually. And these boots are from Rick Owens. I treated myself because I had a voucher oh. that matches. Yes. <laughs> and as you know, this um, hat is from the Zia. And this top, this shirt is um, a gift from Jerry Stafford. And it's nice. um, uh, J.W. Anderson. Nice. Yeah. I've for got, Lo for Loie. Loie. I've got Loie. 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 It's got a very nice, um, it's got one of these sleeves, you know, a circular sleeve and a yeah. bit of a collar. That's today's look. And it's been such a pleasure because I've really missed getting dressed up. That's what I miss <laughs> in lockdown, everyone, is getting dressed up. Because I do oh. make the effort every day, as you as as people I know, you know I do. But you know, I do get actually probably proper prob properly putting a look on rather yeah. than a day look. Cause my day looks sort of like my night look, really. Of course it is, yeah. Anyway, but you know, sometimes I like to go to town a bit more. <laughs> if you oh, know what I mean. I I've just seen Michelle Clapton sent me a picture. It's gorgeous. You'll love it when you see that. Oh, I can't wait. It wait. I yeah. can't wait. I'm just saying to Katie. Oh, Katie put it thank up. Thank you. Oh, who was that by? Oh, that was nice. Love that. I love it how you've got the whole thing in the whole vista. I I I did specifically do do this sort of set. I love it. I, I did this know. place everything just so so there'd be things oh, love around. This one. I'm loving them all. I know. I get so really excited. fat. Sometimes I'm so much. I want to hey? cry. 
sometimes I want to cry, they're so lovely. I've just got a hilarious message from the BBC just on my phone. Sue, oh, you know, were you due to run the London Marathon this Sunday? Tell us how you're keeping in shape. <laughs> <laughs> They're obviously not watching online. We've discussed our keep fit regimes and how they've gone to pot since the I lockdown. I, I don't even <laughs> do a walk or nothing. I oh. do do a walk. I, I, I live right opposite a lovely, beautiful park, actually, in uh, um, Hoxton, in Haggerston. My local park is Haggerston Park. And um, it's beautiful, actually. It's um, built on um, an old Victorian gas works. And um, yeah. they have, and it's right by Hackney City Farm as well. And mm. in more recent times, they've built, um, um, uh, oh, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, Love it. That. Um, they've built a, a, a woodland walk a woodland walk, which I'm very partial to. And there is a lake in the middle. Um, I like to call that lake, Lake Como, but obviously <laughs> nothing like Lake Como. And if you go at a particular time of day, some of the donkeys and goats are actually walking around in Hackney City Farm. Yeah. And then- Oh, that was on the interesting. Hey? It was on, no, Country File it was on yesterday, Hackney City Farm. Oh, was it? Yeah, this is my interest in life. I was watching Country Farm. Yeah, but, well, you know. And, oh, no. Oh. Could hardly see that one. Oh, well, yeah, I like nice? that. Delicate. Oh. That's lovely. Someone just wants to know, what do you love about getting older? Um. <laughs> Well, actually, I don't mind getting older. And I always tell, some people tell me off, actually. Michael Costis always telling me off the same, telling people my age. But I don't mind my age, really. But um, what do I like about getting older, was that, or what I don't like, So, Well. What, what I like about getting yeah, older. Yeah, what do you like about it, or what you don't um, like? So, um, well, I mean, I've just basically sort of... Um, I like being, uh, well, um, actually, do you know what? I do actually like that I can really, I really pull out references very quickly. So if somebody says to me, oh, something, something, oh, something of a bygone era, I can go, oh, yeah, that's from, I can reference where yeah. the, the oh, sort yeah. of trail of, because of, I love process. Yeah. I love, I love, I love hearing people's process and what they're sort of inspired by. So um, yeah. when I, if I go and see an art show or a fashion show or something, some something somebody's created, a dancing, dancing. Mm -hmm. I like to sort of like um like being able to sort of recognise quite easily um, yeah, a sort of thread of inspiration coming through. Because let's face it, we have known very inspirational people like so, very through exactly. the decades, and I like the way people translate their history. Do you get my gist? I do. I know completely. Oh, that's beautiful. And I love that. That's lovely. That's lovely picture. Do you know what I love about being older? Not really giving a damn. Oh, yeah. You know when you're young and you're worried about people thinking of you and you've done this, you've upset this, you've upset. Oh, yeah, yeah. Couldn't care less. I just say what I think now. Probably yeah. people just think. Well, I think, stuff. yeah, but, I mean, that's always a word of advice I give to people is that sort of actually don't, uh, I, think, I think maybe when I was very young, I was very sort of... Um, um uh worried about what what people might have thought thought of me or how i was you know pe yeah and that now, really that can really wind you up actually but nowadays yeah, not for, not for a long time and my words of advice to people is just just you know just don't give a damn about what anyone thinks actually like just that like, just but just do what you want and don't is worry about what people are saying I know. They're not really saying I've... anything anyway, are they? No. Well, oh, no, that's no. what I like about it, yeah? Because there's loads of older people who live here, but they all make an effort and dress nice. Do you know what I mean? Because there's charity shops galore. So anytime you go out, you see people look fantastic. And they're like in their 70s and 80s. They still carry yeah. on. Yeah. Well, we do have you know that around here as well. Here what you wear around here. Yeah. You do? Um, yeah. I mean, everyone I know... 
has always got a, 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 got a look on. Yeah. Actually. Well, even if I've got a casual look on, in my mind, it's still a look. Yeah. I'm making a little effort. It's all drag. I know. So my little friend Tracy, she comes to she goes, I can't believe you're sitting in the house with a necklace on. I go, well. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you? And most days I put a bit of lipstick on. I have to yeah. Say. Just for my own pleasure. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Well, we've got five minutes left. So I think I can't. people are sending me pictures and I can't wait to look at them. But I'm going to wait till the end. And then everyone, we do a big, um, what's the word? Unveiling. Gallery. A gallery on Hastings. Gallery. We'll have my Facebook page as well. Probably Lovely. on Instagram. Either on me or the fountain or isolation station Hastings. Okay. I, talking about isolation stage, I want to thank them again really a lot because yeah. they're so marvellous what they've done. They've set this all up so quickly and they're so good at sorting out all the tech and everything. They're yeah. lovely. Yeah. So that's Katie and Dan. Thank you. And yet again, sure. thanks to Wayne and so for coming we, on. So we spend the last few minutes, I can just go through some of the photos if you want to look at them together. Oh, I don't have the names, yeah. but I've got them and I'll, I'll just slowly go through them. You can look at them all. Okay, we're just going to put the pictures up for the last few minutes. Oh, <gasps> some of you love it. Oh, we don't know they're by, but they're lovely. so good. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, love I love it. that one. I love the black and the red of the trousers. Yeah, love it. Oh, nice. No. Oh, that's oh, yeah. really excellent. Love oh. it. <laughs> David Brasher did that one. Yeah, love it. it looks like his style. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. That's one I really love that. Yeah. Oh, that's marvellous. Yeah, love that. Love it. Love that. That's one of my faves. Love it. Oh, that cat. That's quite modern. Very modern. They've got their own style. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've got loads, but I can't really send them over quick enough. Well, we're going to see them online. Yeah, we'll Can see them. Can I just them. say, I'm really enjoying all the pictures everyone's doing. They're really oh, good. Oh. Very good. Thank you so much, everyone. So nice of you. Oh. And thank you, Sue, for asking me. No, it was a pleasure. You're the marvellous model. You're oh, oh, I've got to everyone next week who my model is. Next week, I've got performance artist and professional fatty scotty that'll be good that'd be good he's got plenty to say and he's very interesting it'd be nice to draw yeah. his work wear something rather jolly yeah from his host in leon c fantastic yeah so oh phoebe J oh i've loved it so much thank you so much julia oh thank it's you for the time I love so the see everyone oh, drawing and joining in. Is that Julie's oh, locked in now? So he's sweet. I'm to my friend more, really. Oh. Because it's so nice because he speaks them online. I ring them up for a chit chat that don't lovely. normally do. Oh, Stephen Rice, you can donate to the Conquest Hospital. I think the link's on there somewhere. I'm not okay. sure where. But, you know, it's free. But if you've got a couple of bob spare and you want to donate, or donate it to any charity, really. Yeah. Because we, you know, we're not making money out of this. It's just for oh, the joy. No. Because do you know what? As I always say, experiences are more important than money. And this is so joyful. It's so lovely to do because everyone is so enjoys it so much and joins in. That's lovely. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Kay. It was all your idea, you and George. Oh, I like seeing these little messages at the end. They're and then so we go. Nice. Then we go. Oh. Hi. Kim, Kim. Hi, Kim. Lovely. Oh. oh. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. See you, everyone. Oh, good old Stephen Parker. Oh, isn't it lovely? See, it makes your heart go warm. Well, Julia, I expect I'll speak to you very soon, maybe even later I this evening. I hope so, yeah. But Definitely. I'm going to shop. I know I've been told to stay in. I'm going to pretend I didn't get the letter till yesterday because I'm going to oh, Mark's Convention tonight and I've been looking forward to it for a week. Don't forget to wear so, your protective mask. I'll wear gloves. Get your gloves on. Um, 
Yeah, I'll be very careful. I'll leave the yeah, stuff out for like three days before I give it in now. I won't. Yeah. But I've just, once a week I'm going to go out. I won't, well, I I'll tell you what, I'd like I'll... to do this every week. I'll do <laughs> I've this. enjoyed it so much. I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> what, I'm, do, I'm doing another one on Friday for this guy in London, Hercules Fisherman. So if you want okay. to do it, I'll let him know. She said to tell him people who wanted to do it. Oh, okay. And also next weekend, I think it's the um, Fountain Clubs, Fountain Pubs, one year anniversary. And they okay. set up their own little telly station with the help oh, okay. of Isolation Station Hastings. And I think oh, I'm okay. going to do Lazy Susan on Sunday afternoon and chit chatting to locals from the pub. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, so you can come oh, on that. That's fantastic. You can you know, I'll log on to that. I've been DJ logging on to a few things, you know, yeah. over over this time. Oh, I'll tell you what, I quite enjoy. I don't know if you've seen, gone on to it. Jarvis Cocker's Saturday Night Disco is oh, very is amusing, good? and Mitt's Justin Vivian Bond's uh, Auntie Glam show. Oh, is yeah, I've seen some good stuff. Yeah, That's really, really good fun, and I'm a John great fan. Of Glenn Close. Oh okay. yeah. Is is Josh still there? Do you want to say goodbye? Josh, are you still there? Do you want to say goodbye? I think he might be doing a mix or something. Oh, well, tell him. Oh no, thank coming, you very coming. Much. Right, we're signing bye. off. I think soon. Is he coming? He's coming. Hello. Bye. I'll Just say there. goodbye, Josh. Bye, and thanks everyone. For your help. You've been so helpful. Oh, so bye, nice everyone. Oh, yeah, we're doing a, we're doing a project. Tomorrow, and I'll speak to you later, Julia. Bye. Big love, big love, everyone.